Hi, this is Al Edlund. This video is going to do a, a real brief introduction to uh, a demo application that works with a new feature of Visio 2010, that of containers. Containers allow us to group objects visually uh, and work with them on a page while not uh, being captured by some of the dependencies of a group shape. For further information on containers, I'd suggest you check blogs, msdn.com, Visio, for the Microsoft Visio Insights Group. For the application, what we're going to do is we will use Visual Studio 2010 Release Candidate, Microsoft Office Visio 2010 Professional uh, Release Candidate, Enterprise Library 5.0 Beta, which is uh, the patterns and practices that goes with Vis uh, Visual Studio 2010. And I'm going to suggest that you investigate Chris, Chris Roth's utility for creating server shapes. The reason that might become advantageous is it allows us to create custom server shapes with many icons, which will assist us when we do some of our drawings for uh, shapes and objects which are not available in the standard uh, Microsoft uh, servers Visio stencil. For the data that we use with uh, behind our drawing, we're going to take advantage of three tables. Uh, an applications table which has a list of applications that our client would use. A solutions table which is really a grouping of applications, and an applications connections table, which uh, provides the information to the solutions table of what applications are involved. For the um, application that we're working with, the solution that we're working with, what I did was I exported these three tables to Microsoft Access and then use Microsoft Access to create uh, demo files which are included in uh, the zip file we're putting together. The files that we're using as data input are a, a Microsoft Excel Visio 2007 file and three XML files. The Excel file has three worksheets in it a solutions worksheet, an applications worksheet, and an applications connections worksheet. What the application does is when we start it, it reads in the solutions uh, table. Based upon selecting a solutions table, it will list the applications that are involved with that solution. And then we can add that solution to the page. And here we have three containers, a web container, a database container, and a directory services container. These containers take their name from the types of uh, Visio shapes that we're putting into it. That's why I suggested that Chris's uh, application for creating custom shapes might be advantageous. This data is actually stored in the applications table. In a specific column. And that's the master name that we pull out of the server table. The stencil that we use in the application is hard-coded, but obviously that can be changed. If we want to, we can select another solution and add it to our shape as well. And you can see that the uh, uh, containers uh, change size as we add it. We can also remove uh, solutions from the drawing. These are each saved, and by the way, on individual layers within the Visio drawing. If we want to save the drawing, we can load and save pre-existing drawings. 
the sample application includes the ability not only to read from an Excel file, but individual XML files if we want to use that as, as our input source. So the application has the ability to, cre uh, to, to create the drawing from three different sources. I have not included the SQL uh, uh, layout. One of the other things that we're doing with the DC Rack application is um, taking advantage of geodata or geographic data within the uh, SQL Server 2008 and tying that to Bing Maps so that we can document WAN connectivity as well as uh, where locations are geospatial within the database. Hope this helps. Have fun with the application.